Let's make this black and white skin tone effect. Start by opening a new document in Photoshop, 1080 by 1080 pixels. That is my bread and butter. A lot of square graphics over here. First, I'm just gonna make a black background by filling a new layer in black. Next, we're gonna drag in our Abe Coffin cutout. And when you drag in any image or cutout, it's gonna default to this transform screen. So I like to hold shift and option to drag from a corner. It keeps everything centered and allows you to size the image. So that looks pretty good. Just hit return. Now we are going to add an adjustment layer from our adjustment layer menu down here. We're gonna add a black and white layer. And see, we're already halfway there. We've made the entire image black and white. Obviously, we just want it to apply to his skin tones. So what this black and white layer is doing, it's an adjustment layer. It is affecting everything underneath it. If you ever had like a bunch of background layers and you didn't want this black and white layer affecting everything underneath, you can make a clipping mask, which is holding option and hovering over the area between black and white and the layer below it, and then clicking and see how it makes that little arrow. You can also right click on the layer and scroll down to create clipping mask if you forget the shortcut, but option clicking is definitely the fastest. That's gonna clip this adjustment layer specifically to the layer below it. So meaning the black and white is only affecting Abe Coffin. We can make the background any color we want and it's not gonna affect it, it's only affecting Abe. So the black and white layer, we can adjust this, we can adjust the contrast in it by moving these sliders. The skin tones are in the red and yellow category generally, so when you move these around, you are adjusting how the skin tone is looking. Now, we're going to invert the mask that's on this black and white layer. To invert the mask from white to black, you can do Command-I as a shortcut, you can also go up to Image Adjustments Invert. And so now we have a completely black mask on the black and white layer, meaning none of this black and white is showing through. Masks work by having the black hide the layer and anything you paint in white will show through. So we want some of this black and white to show through. So we're gonna paint in white by setting our foreground color to white. You can also hit D on your keyboard to reset the colors to black and white. You can hit X to cycle between them. We're going to add back this black and white effect. So go ahead and click and drag with your brush tool all the areas that we wanna make black and white. We're on the black and white mask. That's what we were selected on. We are using the brush tool and we are just brushing everything we want, black and white, which are his skin tones in this case. So one thing to keep in mind, you should generally be more precise than I'm being right now. I'm going quickly for the sake of a video and I don't need to keep you here so long, but the more time you spend on these small details, the better your design is gonna look in the end. So really don't be afraid to take too much time with these designs, like good designs just take a lot of time is something you will learn. Be patient, take the time, it is worth it in the end. And there you have it, black and white skin tone effect, it is that easy.